This video is about Japanese candlestick patterns that involve two candlesticks, and we're going to look at four general types. Engulfing, dark cloud cover, tweezer tops and bottoms, and harami. So do keep watching to the end of the video if you want to learn about all of these. Hello, I'm Peter Martin with Trading212, and we add tutorials about trading the financial markets to YouTube on a regular basis. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because that's just the easiest way to find out whenever we put out new content. I would recommend before watching this video that you checked out my video on single Japanese candlestick patterns. And let's jump into our first pattern, which is bullish and bearish engulfing. Pattern number one, bearish and bullish engulfing. So one thing to note, first of all, is that what defines it as being engulfing is all about the size of the candlestick bodies of the two candlesticks that we're looking at. So we're not concerning ourselves with the size of the wicks, also known as the shadows. We're purely looking at the comparison between the size of the two candlestick bodies. So let's first of all talk about the bearish engulfing pattern. What we are looking for here is a green candlestick followed by a red candlestick, where the body of the second red candle is larger than the first green one and completely engulfs the first candle body. That is, the open and the close of that green candle lies within the open close range of the second candle. That is the bearish engulfing pattern. And we would be looking for this when it occurs after a bullish phase. And then that is a sign of a possible bearish reversal. A shift lower for the market might be on the cards. The bullish engulfing pattern is the other way around. So this time it is a red candle, first with a green candle, second. And the engulfing part is the body of the green candle here completely overlapping, completely engulfing the body of the preceding red candle. And for this pattern, we would be looking for it to occur after a bearish run. And as it is considered a reversal pattern, possibly heralding a shift upward for the market. So here we have a daily chart of Euro Sterling. We can see that the price was in a bit of a downtrend in this section here of the chart. And what do we have here? Well, we've got a red candlestick, quite a small body, completely engulfed by a green candle immediately afterwards. So that is a bullish engulfing pattern. It's coming after uh, a downwards market. And so that's a bullish reversal signal. And we can see that the market has pushed a little bit higher after that. Pattern number two, dark cloud cover. So dark cloud cover is a reversal pattern. You're looking for it to occur after an uptrend. So we're looking for a rising market leading into the pattern itself, which is first of all, a strong green candle as the first candle in the two candlestick pattern. And then the second candle is a red candle that opens above the previous session's close. In other words, it opens above the upper wick of the previous candle. And then you're also looking for the close of the day to be pretty close to the low of the day and for it to be uh, well within the body of the preceding candle. And the conventional wisdom is that the further that is into the body of the prior candle, the greater the chance of a top occurring. So what's the thinking behind this? What's going on? Well, we've got this rising market, as we said, and then some further bullish signals. We've got this big green candle, and then we've got this open that's opened above the previous session's close. So these are all some pretty bullish signs, but then what do we see? Well, the market falls back. We don't get the continuation. We see the market retreating and actually closing near the low of the day. So people who are along the market, who've been holding those long positions are now going to be having um, a kind of sinking feeling, thinking, uh oh, what have I got myself into? So perhaps having some second thoughts about why they're long and that can create a possible reversal. Pattern number three, tweezer tops and bottoms. 
So for tweezer tops and bottoms, one defining element that we're looking for in the pattern is that we're looking for either matching highs or matching lows so that the pattern looks like a pair of tweezers. So what we're looking at here, we've got a pair of matching highs. And for tweezer tops, you're looking for a rising market and then for those matching highs. So that would be your tweezer top and a tweezer bottom would be a falling market where we had matching lows. Now, tweezer tops and tweezer bottoms are reversal patterns, but it's not a vital reversal sign. It's not as strong as some of the ones we've looked at already. But if the pattern comes after an extended move or it occurs with some other confirming candlestick pattern, then it can take on a greater importance. So here we can incorporate some of those single candlestick patterns that we talked about in our previous video when we covered single candlestick patterns. So this is an example of a tweezer top. We've got the rising market leading into it. And then here is our tweezer top two candlestick pattern, which has got matching highs there. So that's your tweezer top. But on top of that, the second candle is a doji. Now remember we said in the previous video that a doji indicates indecision and a possible reversal after a trending market. So we've got the kind of non-vital reversal signal of a tweezer top combined with a further reversal signal with a doji coming after a trending market. So that gives us a stronger indication that there might be a possible reversal on the cards. Or let's say instead of a doji, we had instead a hanging man. Once again, that's another uh, bearish signal after a rising market indicating a possible reversal. So once again, that would give us a stronger indication that there might be a reversal on the cards. And then this is an example of a tweezer bottom. So we've got a falling market and then our two candlestick pattern is here where we've got the matching lows. But on top of that, we've got a hammer candlestick pattern, a single candlestick pattern that indicates a possible bullish reversal. So that might give us some further confidence that we might be about to see uh, a reversal here. We're seeing a bottom of this downwards movement. So here we have an example of the Harami pattern. And I suppose you could just about see how a poetic soul might imagine that loosely resembles a pregnant mother. Or maybe not, your mileage might vary. But really what we're talking about here is the reverse of the engulfing pattern. With the engulfing pattern, you'll remember, we had a smaller candlestick body first, engulfed entirely by the larger body of the subsequent candle. Here we have it the other way around. We have this pronounced larger candlestick body first, and the top and bottom of that body is above and below the top and bottom of the body of the second candle. So what we have is that the open and close of the second candle lies within the open and close of the preceding candle. Now, Harami is supposed to represent a pause or a break from an existing trend. However, it's not thought of as, as significant as a reversal pattern as, say, an engulfing pattern. One variation that is thought of as much more significant is what's called a Harami cross, where we have a big body followed by a doji. And with this harami that we're looking at here, which is a bearish harami, let's say that we had an uptrend leading into this. Then we've got this big green candle showing bullish strength. But next, we get the uncertainty of this little body. So the bullish drive has ebbed away. A reversal might be on the cards. A bullish harami would be a downtrend with a big red candle and then with a subsequent small body, providing a possible signal of a reversal higher. And if any of these candlestick patterns interest you, don't forget that Trading 212's app offers a practice mode so that you can try these things out without risking any real money until you're happy that they work for you. I hope you enjoyed this video looking at Japanese candlestick patterns involving two candlesticks. If you did, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up button and give us a like, or why not share your thoughts with us in the comments section? What do you think about these patterns? Send us a message. We do read every message we receive there. But that's all for now from me, Peter Martin, and Trading212. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.